guess I started the trend of turning a word into a Bloxburg house. In my panda word house, I asked my subscribers which word I should build next, and a lot of you said I should do the word Ibella, which is one of my best friends, so today I'm going to be doing just that. At the end of the video, I'm going to be surprising her with the end results, and she couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh, ain't no way you did an Ibella house. The first thing I have to do is outline the letters using a small fence. So we first need an I. I'm going to go like this and then like that. Hopefully that's big enough. Since in her name she has a lowercase I, I thought I would make it exact. And then we need to put the B. I'm kind of scared to mess this up, but um, so far it's going decent. Yeah, uh, what the heck is that? The B kind of looks pregnant. Maybe if we if we continue like this and then like that. Uh, no, this is not that. No, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is stressing me out. We might be getting somewhere. Does that look good? I just need to add the little donuts. Wait, hold up. A bestie, what is that? <laughs> this one will be the one. I sense it in my fingertips. Yes, I said fingertips. That kind of looks big. <laughs> Get it? B for big. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, that works. I, I'm proud of the B. Now we need E-L-L-A. Will I be able to fit it? Probably. Will it be centered? No. I see myself. She's slaying. And now I need two L's and an A. Theoretically speaking, it should be like this. But we kind of don't have enough space. So how is this gonna work? Try squishing it all together? Yes. Yes, I am. Ta-da! I Bella. I successfully shifted it over quite a bit. So now I have space for the final letter, which is the A. So maybe we'll go three. So like that. Oh, yeah. that reminds me of Among Us. <laughs> is this lopsided or is it just me? What is happening here? Oh, wait, it's not lopsided. Okay, I'm just seeing things at this point. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Since we now have the outline, I have to put down these walls so we can start building and decorating these letters. This is the last letter. One, two, and three. And now we have the final outline of the word, I, Bella. Make sure to like the video and comment what word you want me to build next. Now that the layout of the word is ready, I brought some of my subscribers to help me decorate each letter. If you want to be in a video like this, make sure to subscribe and join my Discord. The link is in the description. We just got in build mode and <laughs> literally everyone has started and mine just has a singular cone. This person seems like they know what they're doing. Meanwhile, I'm just spinning around my letter trying to imagine how I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna have the entrance there and have like a living room, then kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. That, that looks pretty decent, right? Please say yes. <laughs> I'm gonna start by putting a basic opening here and that's going to be our entrance into the kitchen from the living room. It's a start. Now, how exactly am I gonna fit a whole living room and an entrance space in here? Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Why am I just now seeing all these new sofas? And a retro sofa? <gasps> I mean, this is nice. For the colors of this build, I'm thinking a lot of reds, greens, and white. Why? Because Ibella's theme is literally watermelons. For the floor, I think a beige will do and maybe some wood grain. This is a living room, but I didn't quite think about the TV. Is there even a place to put down the TV? Unless I put this down and put the TV on top of there, but it'll be way too cramped. So I guess for now, Ibella won't have a TV. <laughs> I'm kind of just going to move on to the kitchen and then come back to it. I was thinking, if we place down some windows into the bedroom, is that strange or is that aesthetic? I don't know, but I'm going to do it. I placed down one there. And now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'll start by placing down some counters. We need a fridge that'll store all her watermelons why are a bunch of flowers just going into my inventory <laughs> what are they doing and then over here it'll be like a bar stool thing all i need to do for it is use a custom shape and lift it up Whee! for now i'm just kind of getting the layout of all of the rooms and then later on i'll color or else it's gonna end up looking like this <laughs> I know the colors are not working right now. I feel like here we're missing like a window since it's like a stool area looking into a wall. We could do something like this, but this feels very gel like. <laughs> oh, perfect. I think that's even better. I'll take one of these framed windows and then resize it and move it up here. Beautiful. And we also need a sink, but I think the sink would probably do best over here. Why? I, I honestly don't know. Bro, this is so hard. I'm so sorry. Keep going. 
<laughs> and now I'm gonna move on to place down some things for the bedroom. To place the bed and all that, I don't know how I'm gonna go about that. Until I figure that out, I'm just gonna place another door just so we can make sure we have a door to the bathroom. <laughs> First off, in a bedroom, we need a bed. So let's just put down a family tent. Yeah, okay. It looks pretty finished to me. Joking. Unfortunately, I have to build it. We need a desk space because we know she's a YouTuber, so she's a gamer girl. She's gonna kind of have like an L desk going. I just noticed there's a person dancing in build mode and they're dressed as a watermelon. Just for you, Ibella. Look at that gorgeous looking yeah. face. Okay, I'm distracting myself. And then for the makeup desk in this corner, I need a stool. Ooh, this one's fancy. It's quite literally called fancy. Also need a mirror. Where should we put the dresser? There's literally no room to put anything. Should I just like squish it in front of the bed? She gotta keep her clothes somewhere. Okay, that's the layout of the bedroom. And now we finally have the bathroom so here we need a shower wall mounted counter i was literally just looking for something like this oh my god blogsburg i love you for adding this can we place a sink in it that's the real question though please tell me you can oh wait they have a wall mounted counter sink my blogsburg life is completed at this point Knowing me, I at least have to build one thing custom. And I think what I'm going to do is build a custom shower. Why? Because I have too much time on my hands. I wish they had like a shower head that was rounded. They have this one. This one's the closest, but this one is nice. It's just squared. Okay, we're going to go with this one. I just placed down my very own custom wallpaper of watermelons. I also made a few watermelon decals. So now I got a watermelon fi. Wall water watermelon fi. I don't know. I'm just going to decorate my house with watermelons. <laughs> So now that I have a brief layout of all the rooms I'm going to be decorating, I think I'm going to start off by going back to the kitchen and actually finishing it up with some decorations. I think that's more Bella vibes. Definitely. Okay. What if I combined multiple carpets? Maybe I could do two of them spread out. Let me try that. <gasps> oh my goodness. Not to hide myself up or anything, but that's my favorite thing so far. <laughs> I'm not the best at using color, but for some reason, this is kind of working out as I imagined it to. That's a good thing, just to clarify. I also just noticed that the floor is literally grass up in here. We gotta change that. Oh, <gasps> wait, this is nice. Did I make my whole house that? Oh yeah, for sure. I tried adding my own touch to these chairs by adding a pillow on top. You can't tell me that doesn't look adorable. And now to these heart carpets, I was debating if I should put seeds for watermelons. And you're probably wondering how I'm gonna do that. Well, of course, using some basic shapes and just duplicate them. Does that look like seeds or does it look like, you know, the cat after it used the bathroom? <laughs> Maybe a way to fix this is coloring the outline a green. <gasps> Wait, that, that just did it. There you go, a watermelon carpet. I know this is going to be Ibella's kitchen, but I need to leave my final touch, which is a potted vine plant. Now that I've pretty much finished up with the kitchen, my next room that I'm going to be decorating is the living room. Maybe I'll move the door over here just so I can actually place down a TV stand over here. I know it's kind of unpractical just walking past the TV and couch, but that's the best thing I could do. Keep in mind, I'm building a house out of a letter. I think I'm gonna go for a wall TV. Is this a nice color combination or does it look silly? I think it's cute, like the little seashell pink. Seashell. Seashell. Sally sold seashells on a seashore for seashells. Is that even how it goes? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't think of this. We need a TV remote. Like, how else are you going to be controlling the television? We need some heart lights. She would definitely include some heart lights. Now I got to add more all over the place. Well, this is our living room complete. We have the kitchen complete and now onto the bedroom. Now I added some watermelon decals on the wall because I just thought it was a cute addition above the bed. <gasps> this looks very royal-like. I love that. <laughs> and then for the pillows, we need some light blues. We need some purple. I just feel like mix matching like all of these pillows. You can't tell me that this doesn't look like so perfect. Now the color of the room, should I make it all pink? Or should there be some green in it? Having like all different colored walls. Does that work? And then on a desk, of course, you need some pencils. And there we go. 
And then underneath here, I feel like I'm missing a watermelon carpet. It, it just looks perfect. And I also have a custom mirror decal. So I'm going to put that down there. And because there is a lot of wall space here, I think the best way to fix that is adding some natural lighting. I have to add a watermelon here somewhere. When she looks into the mirror, she'll see this watermelon staring back at her. In a good way, though. In a good way. And now, just like I've done in the living room, we have to add in some fairy lights. Even though I just added the lights in one and two corners, it just made the room look even better than it did. Now that I have finished the bedroom, it's time for the very last room. The bathroom. I made myself a custom door, and I don't know if I should combine two of them like this. That looks really nice. Now, I just have to match the rest of the bathroom to look that nice. Let's see what type of floors I have. I could always do this texture. It doesn't look half bad. Pro flush wall toilet. What type of toilet is this? We're just gonna go with a basic toilet because, you know, we're kind of basic. <laughs> I like my toilets basic. If I had a plant inside of the shower, would that be strange? You know what? I'm just gonna add it. I think it looks fine. Ta-da! Our bathroom is all completed. And that means our L letter house is finished. We're first starting off with the I. Here's the exterior. Ava built this house. So far, there is a lot of plants. Over here, it looks like it is the living room. Don't mind if I do, you know. Just gotta stop and watch the news for a little bit. Breaking news! I have just heard that everyone should use star code PANDAWANDA. Oh my god, no way. I'm on the news? That's so crazy. <laughs> Right next to the living room is the kitchen. And what is this room? Oh, it's the bedroom. Oh my goodness. And they have like a bunk bed and everything. I'm loving the amount of plants they just have scattered around their house. Oh my goodness, wait. The eye is like separated. So they made this into like a totally separate room, which is the, actually the bathroom. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. They did such a good job. Next up, we have the bee house. Okay, so it looks like there's a theme of browns in all of these houses they even have a pumpkin inside so here is the living room and it seems like they even added a little desk office space and then over here right spot in the middle of the letter b is the bedroom don't mind me just suffocating over here imagine just like waking up ah i'm hungry let me just walk to the kitchen that is five steps away from my bedroom oh wow we're here i think i'm funny when I, in reality i'm i'm really not i'm sorry and then if we walk around to the other side, I would assume a bathroom is behind here. Yes, I was right. Oh my goodness. They even have some toilet paper, makeup, some plants. Is there not a place to shower? Do you just shower in the toilet? Like, hey guys, I'm showering right now. They must have just forgotten that bathrooms have showers. <laughs> Next up is the E-Build. Let's take a look at what Moon has built for us. Okay. I like the color scheme over here. And the kids. Kitchen? Let's take a moment to appreciate the kitchen. Hello? Look at this bar area. And the microwave is even inside one of the cabinets. Why haven't I ever thought of this? Then if you walk down this corridor, there's a lot of plants decals. This looks like they built a house for me. The couch looks so cozy. I could literally just stay here. You guys finish up the video for me. And what's behind here? The actual bedroom. We have some post-it notes. We have a comfy looking bed. Behind here is the bathroom. I I love the color scheme that they did and the door that opens i mean it kind of opens halfway in the tub so and there's a window over here where the neighbor could literally just watch you take a, a bath but let's pretend that's not there okay okay next up we have dancing watermelon over here you start code panda wanda where i will eat your toes Mr. Watermelon, calm yourself. I know they look pretty delicious right now, but please back away from them. Ooh, I like the tiles on the wall. They have an Ibella poster, and what is that? Do I even want to know what that is? And if we walk in here, it is the kitchen. They did not. They did not just place down an egg. Did you place down the egg? Dot, dot, dot. I guess we'll continue this while my money cries. <laughs> Now, if we walk through here, we have the bedroom. It has a nice looking plant. And there's also a birthday cake that says 19. Is that because Bella is going to turn 19? And now for the L house, which is my build. I need to go get Bella to do the tour with me. I'm going to show you something. Okay, what are you going to show me? Come follow me. What is this? <laughs> I 
babe. Girl, why is it so close to each other? Okay, we don't talk about it. I look big. Welcome inside of your home. This is so cute. The watermelon. Did you make that or is that in Brookhaven? Bestie, this is Bloxburg. What do you mean Brookhaven? You put Kiki the watermelon dog and then like the <laughs> decals. Oh my God, I want this to be like real life now. Well, this is your Bloxburg home now. Oh my God, and the flowers. That's so me. I love it. I did my best. I did my best. This is your bedroom. Wait, the setup. <laughs> Why does it kind of look like my setup in real life? Oh my God, and the makeup. You gotta do your makeup. Sit down and do your makeup. Girl, you <laughs> pretend you're sitting the right way. I already have makeup on. This is gonna actually put makeup on me. Look how cute. Hey, is this thing actually worked? Look at my eyeliner and my eyeshadow. <laughs> Wait, there's one more room. Are you ready? My bathroom. <gasps> Wait, what does this look like? One of those bathrooms that are like on TikTok with like the shower with me videos. With like the shower soap. with you? What are you saying? I love it. Wait, can I use a toothbrush? You got a mustache. <laughs> I literally was like, I have a mustache, bro. How do I stop brushing my teeth? <laughs> Look, guys, I'm gonna. Hey, yo, wait, why are you looking at me? I just oh, realized. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Let me just. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. Ooh, this one's modern. What the heck? This is real. And last but not least, the A in Ibella. Oh, wow. What a beautiful outfit they have on. They have a fancy colored door. Oh, my goodness. And speaking of fancy, as soon as you walk in, there's decals on the floor. There's decals on the wall. And I've only walked into the first room. And here is the living room. Is that a custom fireplace? And the logs? I I'm gonna just keep walking. <laughs> here is the top of the A. I love the natural lighting that they added with the windows and the shadows. Did they custom make the chair too? And then in this door, here is the bathroom. And of course, they had to custom make their very own counter space too. You can't leave the counter uncustom made. Walking in here, which is the other side of the entrance to the right, here is the dining room and the kitchen. Hold up, let me see this. Um, excuse me, who allowed them to be this good at building? Because it was most most certainly not me. <laughs> Those were all the letter houses for Ibella. Subscribe for a chance to be in the next one.